Welcome to Lesson 4.4 on prisms and cylinders. And this time we're going to do the surface area of a right triangular prism. Not too difficult. We're going to approach it the exact same way as we did the rectangular prism, the box. We're going to have you make one and then calculate all the individual areas of each side. So your first job is to take your triangular dot for your dot paper. And I want you to create a right triangular prism net. Total width cannot exceed 14 and total length cannot exceed 22. So I need you to do that. And then once that's done, cut it out, fold it together to make sure it actually indeed does fold up. And then I need, you to chance, I need you to transfer it onto the manila tag that I've given you so that you can make uh, one of the manila tag, which is a little more robust. So cut the net out, fold it, but do not tape it together. So your first job is to do that and uh, then restart or re, you know, press pause and then, and then when you're ready, we can start again. Okay, so you should have a net on the manila tag of a triangular prism. Now, before we can continue, just like we had to review the area of a rectangle, we have to review the area of how to find the area of a triangle. Now, there are several types of triangles that we're going to encounter. The first one is the one I've shown you right here. This is actually an acute isosceles. And in this situation, we've got a base right here. That's always the distance across the bottom of it. And of course, we have the height, which is always 90 degrees from the base. It has to be 90 or perpendicular. So this is your height. And this is your base. Now, there are other types of triangles you may encounter. So we take a look at them. We've got what is our right rectangular, our right, sorry, our right triangle. And this one, it's kind of nice because the, uh, the base and the height are already perpendicular. So your base is right here, and your height is right there. The other type you can encounter is what we refer to as a scalene. The scalene looks like this. Now, the scalene has difficulties because in order to find the height, you have to measure outside the triangle. So you extend the base over to make sure it doesn't go up at you know, the same level. Here's your 90 degrees. This is your height. And of course, your base is all over here. All right. Now, this distance right here is your hypotenuse. All right. And of course, here, your hypotenuse will be on this side. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the area of this. Now, uh, to do that, you have to know your base and height. If you get it wrong or you misidentify it, there's nothing can be helped with you. You could, you're, you've basically screwed the whole question up. So remember, the base is on the bottom. The height is perpendicular to it, 90 degrees, straight up and down. Formula, area is equal to base times height divided by 2. And now put in your base and your height. Substitution, B is 3, and your H is 4. Substitute them in, divide by 2, and you get 6. And we're working in meters squared. So there's your, self, your, uh, your calculation. You're going to have to do this for the sides of your right, uh, sorry, of your triangular prism. So turn the page. On the manila tag, you should have now a net for your triangular prism. When you add up the total sides, this is going to give us our surface area. So what we need to do is to find each one of the five sides area so that we can add them together. Now, we'll use mine. This is what I have here. I've got a 16 by 12 triangle. I've got 10 wide, and I have a ramp, which is 20. So I've got my net laying down here, and these are the dimensions I'm going to have on my net. Since everything is wide, 10 centimeters wide, these dimensions here are all 10s. The side of the ramp is a 20, so that means that when it matches, it's going to match over here with another 20 on this side. The triangle itself has a base of 12. Remember, the bottom is flat. And then the heights are 16 here and 16 here. And these two will fold up to match it. So there are the dimensions that I need to actually find my actual sizes, of, so, or sorry, the areas of my polygons. So if I take a look at it, um, here is the back. I've got to find the area of that. I've got to find the area of the bottom. You'll notice there's only one of each of these. And I have to find the area of my ramp. There's only one of those. The triangle, though, triangle here, there's one there, and it's matching one is right here. So once I find the first one, all I have to do is double it or multiply it by two, and that will actually incorporate or include the other one. So let's take a look at our next page. I've redrawn everything here uh, to scale a little bit. So this is my 16 height right here. Let's take a look. On well, my side are triangles. They're right here, and I'm going to put them in black. So here's my triangle right here. My base is 12, my height is 16. 
Remember my formula? Area is base times height divided by 2. So area is going to be 12 by 16 divided by 2. So that gives me 92. Doubling it gives me, sorry, 190. 192. Got my numbers off. All messed up. I just finished doing this whole lesson, and I unfortunately forgot to turn my mic on. So I'm a little bit ticked off at myself for being so stupid. But one followed by 16 divided by 2 is 96. You double that, and there's where your 192 comes in. All right. Now, to take a look at the back. I'm going to do the back in green. So here's your back right here. And you'll notice the back has got a height of 16. The distance across is the same as the front, so it's a 10. So my area of my back is 16 by 10. It's a rectangle, so I can't use base by height. It's got to be length times width. So your area is going to be equal to 16 by 10. So your area is 160. Now do not double it. There's only one back. Now in red, I'm going to do the bottom. Here's the bottom right here. That one, that one, that one, and that one. So you'll notice it's 12 by 10. It's a rectangle. So area is equal to length times width. Your area is equal to 12 by 10. So your area is equal to 120. That leaves us with the ramp, which is in black. Here is the ramp right here. And you'll notice the ramp is 20 by 10. It's a rectangle. So area is equal to length times width. Your area is equal to 20 by 10, so your area is equal to 200. Now to find the surface area of everything, it's what you did, what you got. So you've got to add the 192 plus the 160 plus the 120 plus the 200. You put all that together, and you, get, you are going to get 672. Now we are working in centimeters here, so it is centimeter squared. All right, so review it if you're not sure what I did. And let's take a look at our next one. Now, this time, you get all the information you need, I'd like you to pause the recording and do this question right now, please. Okay, let's take a look at our sides and our back, our bottom, and our ramp. So, my side is from the triangle, so there's my height, and here's my base. So, to find my area, it's base times height divided by 2. Looking at my diagram over there, my base is 4, my height is 12, divide that by 2. So 4 times 12 is 48, divide it by 2 gives me 24. Now there are two of them, so multiplying by 2 gives me 48. Now I realize that 4 times 12 is 48, but it's not the area of a triangle, it's actually the area of a parallelogram if you do not include the 2. So you must include this 2 and do the dividing and get 24 and then double it, okay? The back, you take a look here, so this one in blue, here's your back right here, it comes down here and goes like that. And you should notice that this is 10, so that means that's 10 right there, and of course the height still remains at 12. So your back is a rectangle, area is length times width, your area is equal to 12 times 10, so your area is equal to 120. Now let's take a look at the next one. We're going to do the bottom. Now the bottom is right here, and it is 10 by 4. It's a rectangle, so it's length times width. So your area is equal to 10 by 4, so your area is equal to 40. And that leaves us with the last one, which is the ramp, and the ramp is right here. You'll notice it's 10 wide, and it is 13 that way. So area is equal to length times width, it's a rectangle, and that's 13 by 10, so your area is equal to 130. Now note that the ramp, the bottom and the back, there's only one of each, so it does not get doubled, but the sides are two triangles. So that means those are the ones that do get doubled. So we have 48 plus 120 plus 40 plus 130. That is your actual sum. When you actually add it all up, you get 300 and 38, and we are in meters squared. All right, turn the page. Now you're on your own. I'm going to give you a hint. Take a look at this length here, and this length here, they're both 9. So I'd like you to take a look at that. Now I'd like you to do the 
um, do the calculation of the surface area. So pause the recording and do this right now, please. All right, let's take a look. Let's start with the sides. On the diagram, you can see that I've got a base here, which is 16, and my height is given as 5. So, being that it's a triangle, my formula is base times height divided by 2. So we've got 16 by 5 divided by 2, so my area is 40. There are two of them. That means I get 80. Now let's take a look at the bottom. The bottom is 16 this way by 20 that way. It's a rectangle, so your area is length times width, and that is 16 by 20, so that gives you 320 when you do the multiplication. Now note that there's only one, so you do not double it. Now here's the ramp thing. You'll notice that there's no back on this one. That's because this ramp here is 9 by 20. And this ramp here is 9 by 20. So in this particular triangular prism, we have two ramps, and they're identical. So we can double to get that. So your area is equal to length times width. Your area is going to be equal to 20 by 9. So in this case, your area is 180. But there are two of them this time, so that is 360. Now, to find the surface area of the whole thing, you take the 80, 320, and the 360. And you add them all up, and you get 760. And we are working in meters, so it is meters squared. All right? Now, just to let you know, one of the questions coming up, they're going to give you a triangular prism that looks something like this. I can't remember which direction the question is. They're going to give you the, the height, they're going to give you the base, and they're going to give you the width, but they are not going to provide you with this distance from here to here. They're going to leave that for you. Fortunately, you have a right triangle here, so you are able to use Pythagoras' theorem and find this and this has a straight triangle. This is leg one, leg two, and hypotenuse, and you can take the information that they give you here and you can find the ramp by using Pythagoras' theorem, h squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. So you have to do this first before you can even tackle doing the surface area. That's just a warning, so when you get there, you'll be able to understand how to do it. So take and complete the assignment, and we will see you in the next lesson.